Virtual Crime King back. Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you are all well on this. What day is it? Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I hope you've had an amazing weekend. You look amazing, by the way. Shut up. How we doing, guys? True Crime King back. Um, I'm sorry, but I forgot how much of a clown this guy really is. Uh, someone sent me this video, and I, I have to react to it. Uh, Harsh thinks he knows more about the U.S. laws than the actual people that live in the U.S. Uh, I'm just, let's just play the video. So you must have. You must have. Tell me all about it downstairs. Downstairs. Downstairs, down in the comments, tell me what you've been doing this weekend, down in the comments. Why do you want to know what everybody's been doing, Harsh? Let's hope the rest of this video goes better than the intro, shall we? Anyway, some of you have reached out, a lot of you have reached out regarding a channel. We know what you did. We know what you did, and specifically a video that was done around five days ago. So I thought, you know what, I wasn't going to do a video on time. I was going to give you a day off. But since so many people reached out and said, check this out. You need to check this out, Ash. You need to check it, because I think you're going to find... Who was he going to give a day off? <laughs> you know what I mean? I find this very, very interesting. So I thought I'd give you my thoughts and feelings on it, because that's what it's... Are you talking to us? It's all about on this channel, sharing our thoughts and feelings and ideas, speculation, spitballing. So if you like that sort of thing. And I'm sorry, but he's, he wears an icon hat because he, I think he really believes that he's he's an icon or something, you know. Um, that's how narcissistic this harsh guy really is. Um, it, when you actually talk to him, you know, not not doing when he's not doing a, uh, a live or a video on YouTube he's actually a very very uh, just not a good person uh, in real life and you're not subscribed why not because you're gonna get that in doses every day here so anyway what do I think to it right so first of all I'd like to say that there is some elements of that video not many all right, here's the video he's talking about. We know what you did, uh, the Idaho 4 tip line. Hey. And real quick, I want to, so the vi the title of the Harsh's video is The Moscow PD Fishing Expedition, okay? So, again, he's insinuating that the cops have done something wrong with no evidence. They're, you know, uh... Here we go. But there are elements of it that are interesting. They're interesting. And the bit in particular I found interesting was the fact that the Moscow PD tip line, it was kind of insinuated in this video that that tip line was potentially set up in order for Moscow PD to establish exactly what was known and by whom. That's exactly why it was set up, Harsh. <laughs> That's exactly why every tip line is set up. So, all the police can find out exactly uh, what was done and by whom, right? Uh, that's the whole goal, right? To, to find the truth, right? He's a dumb, and I think that, that he's a dumbass. That's actually a really valid point. I do, I do, I do feel that there's no better way of finding out in an area who knows what and setting up a tip line that gives everyone carte blanche to ring them up, text them, email them, whatever, and say, look, this is what we know, this is what we saw. So they, if they already know what happened, or they've got an inkling, or they've perhaps been tipped off, that they can, again, establish exactly who knows what, why and when and what, whatever. See, right here, what, what, is, he, what is he trying to ins insinuate by that? I mean, there's absolutely no evidence at all that the Moscow PD have done anything but but do their job and do it well, right? And get the right perpetrator behind bars. Hello? They're not looking for anybody else, you know? There's, I mean, it's, they're not. And then they can do what they need to do. You don't see you don't see the police uh, 
out there investigating tunnels, right? You don't you don't see the the FBI in the, in the Moscow police looking for any other suspect because they have Brian Koberger in jail, right? They're going for the death penalty, guys. Uh, you know what that means? That means they have enough evidence that the prosecution the prosecutors believe that uh, they can convict Brian Koberger of the death penalty. Okay, and he's gonna make some more points here soon that I wanna, oh, I wanna, that's why I wanted to make this video. To dot their I's and cross their T's. Because, look, until I see more, until I see more evidence, and I'm not saying it doesn't exist, I'm just saying I ain't seen it yet. But until I absolutely 100% undeniably see enough proof and evidence that convicts BK that's Brian Koberger of this crime beyond a reasonable doubt so I can look and think do you know what fuck he did it he okay so I mean we all know there's a gag order we all know we're not going to know what the police know until the actual trial so with us knowing that right and harsh knowing that why would you come out on YouTube and keep making videos about, you know, how the how the Moscow PD uh, might be doing something wrong, or or have going on a fishing expedition, as the title implies, right? Um, I mean, what, right? We already know we're not going to find out any, any evidence. It's illegal, right? They can't talk about it. He did it. He still deserves the benefit of the doubt, however. I will say that. So and this is this is this is where this is where. So he say he he keeps saying, I think Harsh is getting his, uh, you know, um, his words kind of or the, the the laws of the U.S. kind of mixed up here. He he keeps thinking that due process means that we should um you know not even think Koberger is guilty uh, until until he's actually found guilty right that's i mean it's just totally ridiculous he doesn't even know what he's talking about or what the actual law means all of you people out there who have him burned at the stake already it don't make you right it don't make us wrong because there are ways in which we should behave and ways in which we should act to be proper people. I'm not... Who's... When have I ever said you guys are, are totally wrong? I'm saying there's no evidence to support anything you're saying, right? There's actual evidence to support what I'm saying. There's evidence to support that Brian Koberger committed this crime. Okay? There just is. Right? Uh... You know, his DNA did not get on the murder weapon sheath and then make it under the dead body of Madison Mogan uh, just with without Brian Kober being in the house, right? Having the, having the sheath in his possession to get his DNA on it, okay? And then, and then it somehow ending up under Madison's dead body. That's just it. They, that's the. I mean, just with that one piece of evidence alone, would be enough to arrest Coburn. Okay, just that, right there. I don't even need to keep going into everything else that the police have, and I'm not going to because we all know what's out there. And if you guys don't know what's out there, or you, you know, you want to call every piece of evidence they have against Coburn fishy. Then you're just biased against co against this, and you're not going to change your mind ever. You know, even if even if Koberger's found guilty, you're going to say that that the Moscow police did something fishy. So I'm not even going to try and convince you guys. Not wankers. So you have to sort of establish whether you're a wanker or whether. And then see, so he's he calls me and everybody that that is follows the actual evidence right wankers and then he puts up his little uh 
<laughs> Laugh my ass off uh, with his with his little uh, squiggly lines, right? Thinking he's all funny with with his with his crooked yellow teeth and his eye kind of hat on, and his and his one inch freaking uh, strings around his neck. Well, he doesn't have a neck around his chin, I guess. You're a proper person. You're a proper decent person who believes in the constitutional rights of your people over in the U.S. And regard what con see this is what I'm talking about. What constitutional rights are you talking about? Harsh. Uh, explain what you mean, right? I don't want to try and... Uh, I mean, I can try and guess what he what he means, but I'm not... You know, I don't want to put words in his mouth because then he can make a video and say, Oh, no, I, I was talking about something else. <laughs> you know? Regardless of, you know, personal thoughts and feelings, you still are of a mindset. Do you know what? I might feel a certain way, but I appreciate that this person has to go through due process. Okay. There, he said it. Due process. Harsh. He, he, this is what, he thinks that due process means that uh, if someone's arrested, you can't even uh, think that he, that someone's guilty, uh, it, you know, until they're actually found guilty. I mean, he doesn't even, look, harsh, look up due process. And everybody, if you don't know what it is, look it up for yourself. I mean, it's just, here, I'll look at you. I'll put the definition up for you guys. Um, you'll see it on your screen. That's all it's about. But anyway, but until I see all this aforementioned evidence and proof and beyond a reasonable doubt stuff, I do have to consider that in Moscow, Idaho, there was potentially reasonings that would force Moscow PD to act swiftly and um, perhaps without due diligence. We already know that. Okay, real quick. Act swiftly. So, the, let's let's all remember what what actually happened here, right? So the murders happened on the on the thirteenth, right? Kohlberger wasn't arrested until after Christmas, a couple of days after Christmas, right? I mean. That's not that's not that fast, right? They if they really wanted to to frame somebody, let's think about this and be and be real. If they wanted to really frame somebody, uh, don't you think they they probably would have chose somebody that uh, that ha actually had a criminal history, right? Before this, that maybe was already on the police radar and and the public's radar around Moscow, because Brian Koberger was not right let's remember they only the police only started following Koberger and were on, and got on Koberger's trail after they sent the DNA that was on the knife sheath under Madison's dead body through with the G, a genealogy website then got a match to Koberger's father right then Went, got his trash after uh, Koberger was witnessed taking his trash out at night in the middle of the night with gloves on, right? After we, after he was witnessed cleaning his car, right? He had plenty of time to get rid of any evidence. Plenty of time, right? He had weeks to get rid of evidence. And those of you that are that say you can't get rid of evidence. Let, are you kidding me? Are you really, like, do you really believe that? You take some bleach and then you, you, you wipe it off. <laughs> okay? Bleach destroys everything. Okay? If you, if, if you, uh, go watch some videos on it. I'm not going to try and, and, uh, and persuade you guys. You just type it in YouTube and, and watch, watch some videos on it. Or type it in wherever you want to. Um, I, I, I had one comment that said, you can't get rid of blood ever, uh, even if you, you could do whatever you want to it, and it, and the luminal test will still show blood. Uh, no, that's totally wrong and false. See, that, that's why I, I, I can't approve every comment, because people just say this stuff that's totally false, and I'm not allowing that shit on my channel, you know? Uh, 
you know, these people like Harsh, they just, he begs for, for you guys to comment because obviously the more comments, uh, it factors into the YouTube algorithm and the more likes, that's, you know, that's why he, he says, you guys look so, so good and so happy and to, when he can't see you and all this bullshit. But, but I know how the real Harsh is, uh, not, not on live cameras. They perhaps weren't gauged in in a manner which would have suited them in this crime. In order to deal with it, I know very quickly they got the FBI involved, but what did they tell the FBI? Did they already tell the FBI, this is what we know, this is what we've been told, and did they kind of set the stage and the FBI ran with that? Okay, first of all, the FBI, they're not just going to take somebody's, like anybody's word, they're going to do their own, you know, <clears throat> facts and make sure they all line up with, you know, with what's uh, being presented. I mean, we all know when the FBI gets involved, um, I don't know if, I, I don't think they've ever lost a case, to be honest with you. Um, I know, I know for a fact it's, it's around 99%. If, if they've lost a case, it's not, it's one or two. You know what I mean? Um, that's why I'm, you know, that's another reason why I'm convinced Koberger's the guy because the the FBI is so convinced that Koberger's the guy, and they 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 never get it wrong, right? Uh, that's just that's just facts, right? And. So and I just I just want to make sure. So Harsh said, if anybody even uh, is believing that Koberger is guilty, with the evidence that we know already, right? We're not allowed to to think that he's guilty, or we're wankers and we don't believe in due process. Okay, that's that's basically what he's what he's been saying so far. We're wankers. And we don't believe in the Constitution in the U.S. That's that's what we are. If if we believe that Koberger did this, committed this crime, as he's sitting in jail and has been sitting in jail and has been charged with four uh, capital murder charges and the death penalty. Okay, we're not allowed to believe he's guilty yet. What a clown! What a dumbass! At the end of the day, I spoke the other day about Brian Koberger had had a conversation with Moscow PD and it would appear that this conversation would then lead to him, I feel, potentially screwing himself by discussing what his alibi or lack... Hit that like and subscribe button uh, down. Thanks for reminding me, Harsh. Hit that like and subscribe button for me, guys. True crime king. Let's go thereof was and I'm gonna do another video tomorrow that touches on alibis and the fact that actually when it comes to alibis who truly had an alibi did anyone but anyway let's get back on to well we know Koberger didn't have an alibi right because uh, he told us he didn't have an alibi he told the police that he told them he was driving his car right around the scene of the crime doing nothing that's his alibi that's his official alibi and you know what that would be a great alibi for the actual person that committed the murder right he doesn't have an alibi <laughs> and neither would the person that committed the murder right I mean come on Put the dots together, guys. This video, because that is where my positive statements regarding this this video that you guys reached out to me about starts and stops. Oh. If a lot of you guys put as much energy into following the actual evidence as you do as to trying to look for evidence that's not there, I think that most of the public would have a totally different view on this case and we wouldn't even be 
talking about uh, all these tunnels and and parachuting and and just and and cult and and mosque and the pup police fishing expeditions I mean what I mean how many how many different theories have to be crossed off until you, until you guys actually look at what's in front of you and what's actually in jail and who's been charged I mean it just makes no sense to me I believe that's a valid point Moscow PD obtaining and you know, information on who knew what, so they could control what they needed to control. So, if that's the case, that means every every police station in the United States or around the world could possibly, uh, you know, you could say that about everybody. I mean, that is this is just the dumbest argument I've ever heard. Everybody's every police station, if the suspect is on the loose, they set up a tip line. Right? I mean, how can you sit here, Harsh, and and say that the Moscow PD was doing a fishing explanation again with zero? Let me say this again: zero evidence, nothing. Right? Nothing. That's this that's slander. It's stupid. And you know, the rest is history. But this video descends into oblivion after that. In my opinion. In my only in my opinion. In my opinion, it's just my opinion, it's not It's exactly right. Saying that anything is factual, I'm not saying that the video is incorrect. And see, these guys all do the same thing. They all say Whatever I say is is definitely not factual, right? Yeah, we well I know that. Uh, apparently, all your audience and, and most of your audience doesn't uh, doesn't even take that into consideration. Where you would you guys admit, uh, and you, you know the other people that I that I've done videos on, they admit that everything they say is not factual, right? Then what are you doing videos for? Right? If you're if you're if you know you're not telling the truth, right? I mean, everything I do is based on facts and evidence, right? I wouldn't make a video if I didn't have any facts or evidence. That's just it's just wrong and I don't know how you can even uh, call yourself, uh, you know. I I just I don't understand it. Anyway, uh, that's enough of this guy, this this icon, right? Um, let me let me know what you guys think. Um, until next time, True Crime King out.